Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will create this 3D spinnable hologram effect. You really liked my last hologram tutorial, so I thought we'd do like a bit more an advanced tutorial today. But if you follow me step by step, you will see it's pretty easy and you will learn a lot about diffusion today. So first, the preparations. I've got here my bottom clip with my SSD card already color graded, where I do the movement and set here the markers on the timeline. Very important, not down here on the clip. You need it up here on the timeline. So when you have nothing selected, just hit a marker and you got it up here. Because when you got it on the clip, you won't see it in the fusion page. So I set the markers at every point I do the movement with my finger. And the other four clips are just clips from my travel videos I want to have in this animation. As you see here, I've got four clips spinning around from racetrack and different travel videos. And these are the four clips I've got here. And with all these clips selected and the marker set, select everything, create a new fusion clip and let's jump right into fusion. So when you open it in the Fusion page, it will look something like this. First, we're gonna clean up this whole thing. So background and merge one to four, you can delete. We just need this merge. And to keep things organized, click on the left dot on every media in and rename it. So I really like to rename this so everything is organized at the end. So we can disconnect this one, we take all our videos up here and the SSD we will connect to the merge node. This is the merge node where everything comes together at the end. So to keep things very easy, I take one clip and do all the stuff with one clip, put it in the 3D space, make it 3D and spinnable and whatever. And then we will just copy all the settings to the other clips. So I will push them by side, then we take the spark clip. What we need to do is we need to have it in the 3D space. So we take the image plane 3D. Everything comes together in the 3D space with the merge 3D node. And to render this out, we need a render 3D node. And then we can connect the render 3D to our merge where everything comes out. On the right window, I have always the media out selected. And on the left window, I select the merge 3D because inside here, I can see the 3D space and this will be really helpful for this tutorial. You see now we have a flat image, but we want to have a cylinder where we can rotate our videos. So go here and here you have shape 3D, drag and drop it here. Take the screen output, connect it to the shape 3D and connect this to the image plane. Then with the shape 3D selected, go to the right side. Here you have shape and select cylinder. Now you see we have this cylinder. Now with the shape selected, you need to go to the controls and now adjust your cylinder so it fits into your image. So for me, the radius of, of the cylinder is way too big. So I decrease this maybe to around here for now. Then it's too high. So I make this smaller and you see we have the full circle and we don't need the full circle. To avoid this, we take our SPA node, hit shift and spacebar, type in transform. And with the transform node selected, just decrease the size. And here on the left side, you see we don't have the full cylinder. We have just a quarter of the cylinder. Then go back to the shape and then maybe you need to adjust the height once again. You can see it's too flat now the image. So we increase the size. So just make it look natural. Okay, this looks fine for now. And now we need to have the shape, the rotation more here on the right side. So with the shape node selected, go over here to transform. And here with the X, Y and Z position, you can position it like around here. Go down here to the Y on the rotation and then rotation it around and you see it's a bit too much to the right side. So I drag it a bit over 
even the radius of the cylinder so the the circle is not too big or too small i really like it like this i can show you here my controls if you want to copy them if it fits into your image another very important point is when i come here with my finger that i don't need to mask out my fingers so i check when i spin this that it don't goes over my finger so i don't need to mask this out but it looks very good like this so now we have our clip we have transformed it so we have not the full circle we have the shape so we can rotate it in the cylinder shape and we have it in the 3d space first we get rid of that white image go here to the image plane visibility and just enable unseen by cameras so you can deselect this white image we don't need that now we make the look so it looks more like a hologram and then we copy this to the other then with the spawn out selected hit shift spacebar type in luma Keir. you see now it's too transparent so just adjust the sliders until you like it then what i also like to add is a soft glow node so we have just a little bit of glow and what i also like is we add a color correction and i drag this a bit more into the blue when you see the before and after before and after i like this this little blue tone in the image so it gives more like a, a hologram effect in my opinion and to add the text down here we need a merge node and it's very important that the merge node is before the transform shape and image plane and if you put it here in between all these adjustments are applied to your text so we select a text node go over here and this was on the spa racetrack connect it with the merge node then i also want to have a soft glow on this and add a transform node and position the text where you want it to have i place it in the center of the image and now when you select your shape node and go here to the y-axis you see the text spins with the clip around that's the reason why we need to add the text here in between so that's all the adjustments done for one clip so we take these clips drag it here to the same line then select from the luma here until the image plane 3d without the merge 3d press command or ctrl c go down here press ctrl or command v and copy it right here just connect the rotors to the luma here and the image plane 3d to the merge 3d now you see we have our second clip right here then we do the same down here one and two times connect the next clip to your luma here and the image plane to the merge and to the merge and now we have all the clips with the text with all the adjustments in your 3d space this is why we did one clip first and now you just need to copy this it's so easy now we will position our clips select from your first clip the shape 3d and we have a full circle this is 360 degrees and we have four clips so we need to divide 360 by 4 this is 90 degrees if i done my math right so we select our first shape 3d go here to transform rotation here where we can rotation the whole image type here in zero then we go to the next from roads shape 3d transform y type here in 90 from the algarve shape 3d transform y rotation 180 degrees from cos shape 3d transform y rotation 270 and now you have the full circle with all your clips now we just need to change the text from roads we go here to our text node type in roads so now we have everything set up we just need to do the animation and as i said i want to make a tutorial for you as easy as possible and just to explain it we have here our whole node tree from these clips here 
and to animate all together and not every single clip, we can do this by dragging this render a bit down. And after the merge node where everything comes together, we select a shape 3D node, connect the merge to the shape 3D node, because with this node, we can rotate the whole clip with the text, with all the images, everything. And to adjust the size, we add a transform 3D node as well. And then we just connect this to the render 3D and we can do everything inside here. And now we have once again this white plate, just go to the shape 3D, visibility, unseen by cameras and it's gone. And with the shape 3D selected, you can rotate the Y axis and you see everything spins together. But our center point is at the wrong position. When you see at the left window, you see our center point is here. And at the other shape node, it's here. So just select this shape node. Here on translation, you have the X and the Y. Just copy the X position, go to the other shape 3D node and here on pivot, you can adjust the center point and just copy here the X position in, press enter, go back to the shape node, select the Y position, control C or command C, back to the shape node, here pivot, Y position, command V, control V, enter and you've got the center point at exactly the same point. And now when you, let me close this one, and now when you rotate the Y position, you see it's perfectly centered. And now we just need to animate this. At the beginning, I said you need to set the markers up here. Then open up your splines up here with splines. I make it a bit bigger. Then when you go through your timeline, you see here I've got the first marker when I swipe up. And at this point, I want to let the animation appear. So I select my transform 3D node. So I go to my first marker, set a keyframe on X, Y and down here on the scale position. Then I want the animation to have 10 frames. Set also here on these three a keyframe. Go back to my marker. And now I adjust this whole thing behind my SSD card. So it looks like it comes out of my SSD, something like this. So when we go further frame by frame, you see it appears slowly up here. This is the first step done. And then we go to the end of our clip where I want the animation to end. Here, I tap two times here on the SSD. And on the second one here, I want to let it disappear or like floating up to the air. So with also the transform selected, once again, Y, X and Y axis and scale. Then I go 10 frames further here, then increase the size. So when we play this back, you can see we have our hologram here and then it floats up like here. Go here to zoom to fit so you can see all your keyframes. Then with command or control A, select everything and then press F, not S, because when you press S, you have here also this waveform and we don't want this, just press F. So we have here a smooth curve. So that's it for the transform. You can deselect this one so we don't have it here. Then we just need to animate the spin. So we select our shape 3D. Then we go back to our first frame. Set here a keyframe and go 10 frames further. And when the hologram appears, I want to spin it one full circle and then stops here. So I go here to rotation, Y rotation and rotate it one full circle around until Rhodes is here. Then I go further to my next marker here where I swipe to the left, set here a keyframe that from this position here all the way to this marker it's at the same position. Then go 10 frames further, rotate it to the next image, to the garf, 
here, then go to the next marker. Once again, set here a keyframe, 10 frames further, rotate it to the next image, here, next marker, keyframe, 10 frames, next image, Next marker, keyframe, 10 frames further. And the last image. Here. Last marker, set also a keyframe. And here, once again, when I tap on it and everything floats up, I want to have one full spin again. So I'll go once again, 10 frames further, where the whole animation ends and just add here like 300 so I go a bit more over 1000 around here so we have here I swipe up and the whole animation appears with a rotation then rotates stays until the next frame then I swipe and it rotates to the Algarve the Algarve will stay until I swipe the next one here, swiping to cause, then cause will stay and so on. You see, it's very easy like that. And once again, zoom out, zoom to fit, command or control A, and here you can press S because here when you press F, we have a straight line. And in my opinion with S, it looks better because here it does a little bit like a backwards rotation and then goes further and the final step to spice things a little bit up select the last merge node where everything comes together hit shift and spacebar type in motion blur and you can just leave it by 50. back in the edit page we have our finished animation but you see we have our animation here in front of the ssd card to avoid that we go to our fusion clip open it in the timeline then we just need this clip all the way down here. Copy this one with command or control C. Then go back to your fusion clip. Then copy this clip inside here and just lay it above and open it in the fusion page. Then hit shift and spacebar, type in magic mask, draw a line over your SSD card, click on better, track it back and forth. And now you see it's underneath my SSD and when I swipe up, it comes out of my SSD card. And this is your whole animation done. I really hope you liked this tutorial. I know it was a bit more advanced, but I tried to keep it as simple as possible. And I think you have maybe learned one or two things in the Fusion page that will help in your future. Tell me down below in the comments what you think about this tutorial, hit that like and subscribe button, have fun creating and see you in the next one.